Paris clip is a awesome because he tells you exactly what you already think in your head. He just confirms it about how a lunatic, uh, loon, how far gone the, the left is in their ideology, and they don't care if the worst truth is true. They will do anything to get Donald Trump out of office. Uh, poor thing, shilling for Brian. <laughs> There's no such thing as an intellectual leftist. Isn't that an oxymoron? <laughs> that was pretty funny. I like that. All right, here's Sam Harris. I mean, Hunter Biden, at that point, Hunter Biden literally could have had, had the corpses of children in his basement. I would not have cared, right? It's like, it's, there's nothing. First of all, it's Hunter Biden, right? It's not, it's like, it's not Joe Biden. But even if Joe, like, even the, whatever scope of Joe Biden's corruption is, like, if, you, if we could just go down that rabbit hole endlessly and, and understand that he's getting kickbacks from Hunter Biden's deals in Ukraine or wherever else, right, or China, it is infinitesimal compared to the corruption we know trump is involved it's like it's like it's like a firefly to the sun right i mean like there's just it doesn't even it doesn't even stack up against trump university right trump university as a story is worse than anything that could be in in hunter biden's laptop in my view right now that's not that doesn't answer the people who say it's still completely unfair to not have looked at the laptop in a timely way and to have shut down the you know the new york post's twitter account like that that's a, just a conspiracy that's a left-wing conspiracy to deny the presidency to donald trump absolutely it was absolutely right but i think it was warranted right and i'm and again it's a coin toss as to whether or not <laughs> i feel like i'm i feel like i'm this guy with the glasses just like is this really are you really saying this <laughs> but this is so much what people think they they have such trump derangement syndrome they don't care if there are children's dead bodies on this on this laptop and Biden was associated with it in any capacity, which is not true. I'm, okay, YouTube, relax. Everyone, just relax. But they hate Trump so much and think he is the worst thing on earth. They will just make up whatever story possible and still vote for the other person despite the other person being horrible. It's like they would be more willing to have somebody like Jeffrey Epstein in the president's office than Donald Trump ever again, because they have some kind of fabricated ideology of like who, who he is and what he represents. Awaken JP uploaded a video on how to rep, uh, repel the FBI from your own. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Uh, tell him to go home without a search warrant. I don't know. <laughs> Sam, I'm sorry. That particular piece I'm, I'm really yeah. sorry. I, I was the one that said we should move yeah, yeah. on, but you've just oh, said yeah. something I really struggle go with there, it. which is the you kid, support. The, kid, the kids in the basement? You No, no, <laughs> fuck yeah. the kids in the basement. <laughs> oh. I'm interested yeah. in democracy. You're saying you are content with a left-wing conspiracy to prevent somebody being democratically re-elected as president. Well, no, I'm, I'm content. Well, so it's, but the thing is, it's just not left-wing, right? So Liz Cheney is not left-wing, right? Liz Cheney You're is doing everything in her power. You're content with a conspiracy to prevent somebody no, being but democratically it's not elected. A, no, but there's nothing, conspiracy, it's not, it, it was a conspiracy out in the open. It does, but it doesn't matter if it was, a, it doesn't matter what part's conspiracy, what part's out in the open. I mean, I think it's like, if people get together and talk and talk about what should we do with, about this phenomenon, you know, if, if it's like if there, if there was an asteroid hurtling toward Earth and and we got in a room together with all of our friends and had a conversation about what we could do to deflect its course. Right. Is that a conspiracy? You know, like some of them, I mean, a lot. <laughs> it's an easy way to understand TDS. Drink about two liters of cough syrup and squint as hard as you can. <laughs> exactly. But you know, part of me sees this interview uh, mainline it for quicker effect. Yeah. Part of me sees this interview and is encouraged by the honesty because these are the type of things that like I think about throughout the day that it only makes sense logically that p these people on the left vote this way and believe this way because nothing, they try to make up all these other stories, but he at least is honest enough to say, I don't care if there's dead bodies. I'm not voting for Trump because of some kind of BS crap that he just makes up in his head or like some kind of, it just the, the boogeyman scenario, the, the monster in the closet, the monster under my dad bed, daddy, daddy, come help me. I don't cause nothing makes sense. They keep trying to lock him down for things. I know we're, we're going to get to a little bit of the FBI stuff in a second. Uh, some new details about more Lago and stuff like that. But like, they just keep going after him and I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not a huge MAGA guy, okay? I, I, I don't care if it's Ron DeSantis, Trump, somebody else that's good. <laughs> I don't care. I, I'm a huge ideal, ideas guy. I want, 
I want freedom and stuff like that. I, that's what I want. And I want low, small government. I want to abolish every three letter word agency. I just think they're useless. So <clears throat> I don't, I don't care, but this is just insane. This is when you know you've lost yourself mentally. And just like Papa Bear was saying that uh, a leftist intellectual, isn't that an oxymoron? Exactly. This is not and it, this is not an intellectual statement. I have a feeling those two guys are going to get into a car accident. <laughs> they talk too much, probably. Uh, you mean by the, the Clintons? Uh, this this lady pretty much sums it up right, right here, though. Well, you can actually watch Sam Harris self-destruct his career in two minutes and 20 sentences. Taking down the New York Post laptop article, that's a left-wing conspiracy to deny the presence to, uh, to Donald Trump. Absolutely it was, but I think it was warranted. I, you know, when people talk about like civil war, they talk about like feeling like there's no hope. There's no, uh, that even if you keep voting, you'll, you're never going to win. And, and we're only going to get closer to civil war and fighting each other. It's because of stuff like this. You tell people that two plus two equals four and they say, no, it's five. You freaking idiot. And that's where we're at right now. And I, and that's why things are just constantly escalating. And the left continues to escalate because I only see people on the right. Yes, there are some people on the right that are so close-minded that they won't have a, a conversation. But they're, that they are far and few between in comparison to the people on the left. Um, nowadays, they tragically hang themselves with a massive shot. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Jeez. <laughs> I almost said that out loud. Uh, yeah, the shotgun thing with the Clintons. Uh, so this is just insane. But it, it's, it's it's refreshing to hear honesty, I guess. I, I don't, that's the only positive thing I can think of it. But this kind of this is why we're at where we're at, and this is why you come to channels like mine because when I go through things, when I go through stories and stuff like that, I'm happy to be wrong. I'm happy to learn new things. I'm happy to potentially change my mind on some things because if if an argument is so good, what? Why would I not want to change? If something is such a good idea and it is intellectually sound, why would I not want to change my mind? What kind of idiot is so entrenched in their ideology that even when they're proven wrong over and over and over and over again, they they would just go, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to still believe this. Like It's just, but this is where we're at in this country because, uh, the pillars of societal foundation of truth has been knocked down and now people are questioning everything and everyone uh, to the point where they have created fabricated like uh, realities in their head like Sam Harris of just like I will do I don't care what happens we have to not allow this evil dictator uh, Trump to come back in office because he's basically Hitler in disguise it's just so moronic and stupid and intellectually dishonest and you it just makes people it, it just furthers my understanding that so many people on the left this is very cultish and very religious and that they just believe these things not out of truth but because of their faith dictates so and it just i don't know it's depressing to me that this person is considered an intellectual or that that's where like our intellectuals are it's just shills for the you fill in the blank